Joining Deacon Federation on Ordination Day on June 7th will be Deacon Frank Lawler. Carolee McGrath introduces us now to this man currently serving at St. Mary Parish in Westfield. It would be fair to say that Deacon Lawler has a unique vocation story and journey to the priesthood. You could say Frank Lawler has had a nice life. He had a great job as a stockbroker, was married, raised three children, and is now a proud grandfather. He's had a share of ups and downs too. Several years ago, he went through a divorce. But at 57, when many people are looking forward to retiring, Frank, who is actually Deacon Frank, is looking to start a new career and taking a leap of faith. I'm sure I'm not the only one who will say, wow, how can you become a priest? Tell me how that happens. Well, it's, uh, I, I say the same thing sometimes, wow, because it, it doesn't dawn on me how in unique position I'm in until occasionally. But uh, I was married for 23 years. I'm divorced. My wife still lives in the area. Uh, I have three kids. And, uh, you know, I would like somehow to be able to explain it, but it really is sort of, it really is a, a, the Holy Spirit at work. In 2010, Deacon Frank entered St. John the 23rd Seminary in Weston, which is geared toward older vocations. He was also in the seminary for a short time before he was married. He will be one of two priests ordained on June 7th at St. Michael's Cathedral. For the past year, he served at St. Mary Parish in Westfield. I spent 25 good years as a stockbroker, had a very good life, uh, did very well. Um, circumstances came to pass and we found, I found myself divorced and trying to figure out what did I want to do with my life. Um, I had some good friends who were priests and I started talking to them and it became possible to sort of see what was, what was possible. So I talked to Father Daly, the vocation director, and uh, the marriage was eventually annulled. And once that happened, then I was uh, free to apply for the uh, diocese. And luckily the bishop and the vocation director were open to the possibilities. Deacon Frank graduated from Providence College. He was a swimming champion in his time and was in the 1976 Olympic trials. Before arriving at St. Mary Parish, he served as the development director for the Newman Catholic Center at UMass. Someone said to me once that if you, if you can do anything besides a, being a priest, you probably should because it's, it's a difficult thing. And I really don't feel that there's anything else I can do except follow this path. He wrote, David, to say, take the fall of you. Father Brian McGrath is the pastor of St. Mary Parish. He says Deacon Frank is a blessing to the diocese. He has been amazing. Just a great, great guy around the parish. You know, the, his, his down-to-earth spirituality, his insight, his homilies have been phenomenal. His presence in terms of, of uh, new programs that he's, he's helped to start outreach with the Year of Faith that finished last fall and all sorts of other ways that he's been a great, great presence. Father Gary Daly is the Director of Vocations. In the last two years, the diocese ordained 11 new priests. Frank is a, uh, a bit older uh, and in fact was married, has three children and a grandchild. And I think through that experience alone will bring to priestly ministry a tremendous gift to those who are preparing for marriage, those who may need counseling in marriage, uh, those who may have trouble with raising their children may find some great comfort in, in him and in finding out how he raised his own children. Deacon Frank says he hopes to reach out to Catholics who've been away from the church for whatever reason and gently bring them back. Hopefully I will be in a position to deal with them in a way that they understand that I've been there, that I understand what they're feeling. And uh, I wrestled with it and I continue to wrestle with it. It's, it's every once in a while it's, I wake up and say, what am I doing? And, and I suspect anyone working their way back to the church is going to feel that way occasionally. And it's just a matter of, uh, you know, gradually reaching out warmly and, and in a positive way tell them what a great story the Catholic Church is. And that's what Deacon Frank will focus on in his second career, gently leading people back to Christ, who he says is always waiting for us with arms wide open. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.